guys, Psychic here, and welcome back to another episode of Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons. Yay! I keep wanting to say Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> um, so we're back. It's starting nighttime already. And what we did the last episode is we just got our house down, we found this wonderful island and that sort of stuff. I did light it up for a light it up a bit. I wasn't able to get the whole island itself because we only have so much coal. I did start a mine, which would be this direction. Yeah, I'd fi I found this little uh, stone looking thing and figured that actually would be a really cool place to put a mine. I'm going to decorate it later, but for right now. And it just goes straight down. It needs to be a little taller and with steps, of course, but it just goes straight down. And then, alright, so it is lit up a little bit. I've learned that um, the Mod Pep Maker actually made it F8. That was supposed to be for the lighting level, but when I press it, it still does not work. So, I don't know. But I'll make sure to tell him that at some point or another to make sure to see if it's actually another button. But yeah, so there's Prosperity Ore down here. As you can see, there's some coal. And a lot of freaky mobs, as I've learned. Uh, but we have mined a little bit. I still have stone tools. And I'll explain that in a second. But it looks like you can get straight up ores. Like, there's plain coal and plain gold and so on and so forth. But there seems to be these weird mixtures. Like, this is a red iron ore. And if I mine it... It drops this thing called Red Iron Clump, which it looks like some iron shrapnel coated in redstone dust, smelted iron ingots are crafted in redstone dust. So it's one of those like weird ones where like I can kind of choose which one I want. I also have Vein Miner, which is great. Um, but yeah, so you could kind of choose if I want redstone or if I want iron, which in some cases seems more annoying. It's like I'm going specifically for redstone and I get all the- but like, well, let me rephrase that. It's, it's not annoying. It's not annoying. It's actually kind of cool. It's just if you're looking for one or the other, you just gotta remember. That's what it is. Or like you throw all this in there because out of habit you're wanting to smelt to get iron and then you're like, no, I needed redstone. <laughs> but it's a nice little mine. There's lots of caves uh, and that sort of stuff. So we'll get more things. So we'll go long. It's probably a good time to sleep. But yeah, so if you look on the map. Hey, hey. Where am I? That's not... Follow me! I'm over here. Uh, but if you look at the nighttime, you can see that there's just kind of like this little area right here that's lit up. But that's because that's closest to the house. I don't have enough to do the whole island yet, which is fine. But yeah, so there's like a red iron, there's... that's an iron cluster, that's hard carbon clump, which is just iron and coal. So that's, that's cool stuff. Downside to going mining off camera. I accidentally completed some quests. <laughs> and that just seems to be the theme of this so far. So I did pick up some Prosperity Shards. I saw that it was in the quest book and tried really hard not to grab it, but I don't know what happened. I think I accidentally vine main vine, vine main? Nope. Vein mined. Um, and got Prosperity Shards. But it'll give us some Inferium Essence, so... That's actually kind of cool that this mod is in here, because I really do like the uh, Magic Crap mods. Is that Magic Crap? Mystical Agriculture. It's very similar. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. And then I also accidentally included another one. Uh, so, Pina Colada. Because we had the pineapples. You guys remember me picking up the pineapples. But we never pick up cracked coconuts. But it turns out that the coconuts that drop from the um, those trees over there, if you just put them in your crafting... It makes those coconuts, and I didn't realize it was a quest when I did that, so yeah, we have that too. But it gives us 10 experience, so it's not bad. Uh, so that's Tropic Craft so far. So that's all the quests that I accidentally did, so it's good. So let me sleep real quick. Well, actually, before we sleep, I think I want to focus fo eh. I think I want to focus on doing some legitimate quests, going through the quest book a little bit in order. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to play, if how it's played... If it's supposed to be in order or just whatever you feel like doing. But right now I kind of want to go in order because the journey just kind of seems like a beginning sort of thing to do. Especially since it's wanting us to make a sleeping bag. Which, if I remember right, it's just three wool in the center. Yeah. Now we don't have any wool, but we do have lots of string. We just need three. Two, three. 
don't know why that makes a saw sound, but... <laughs> also, we'll go here. And the mod I was thinking of before was Tinker's Construct, so I'm thankfully reminded me what that, um... Mod was, and no, it's not in here, so unfortunately we gotta deal just with plain vanilla crafting tables for now. I'm not sure if there's any different kinds, but it's not like it's horrible. Just can't leave them in the crafting. Alright, there we go. So white sleeping bag, that'll give us a lit chest and ink sacks. Ooh, and that opens up one more thing that lets us see a lot more things. So something called a workshop, which is probably leading straight into not having to deal with the crafting table. Let's open this. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Common Mega Loot Case is one of them. Ooh, nice pants. But I want to stay a wizard. There's a Frangi. It's short, but does a lot of attack damage. Lots more tomes and that sort of thing. Okay. And a fishing rod with... It's a holy fishing rod with luck of the C5. But ooh, if I ever go fishing, that's going to be the one I use. Alright, so let's throw these books and stuff into here. I won't actually need the sleeping bag. Ooh, tape. Tape can go in there. And the rest into just wherever I feel appropriate. I do like to organize a lot, so that's the thing you guys will notice from me. Okay. Common Mega Loot Case. I didn't want to throw it. What are you? The clicker. Oh, it's an axe. So 10.9 mining speed. That looks cool. Okay, we might use, like, we're definitely gonna use some of this stuff. I'm just a little weary about it right now because I'm not, I don't know what it is. But the clicker actually seems kind of cool. It's just an axe, like, uh, the wiggle stick is just an axe as well. But this one is slower, but it's more rare. So durability higher? Nope. Hmm. 20 attack speed. This one doesn't have a tax fee. Okay, that's why. Okay, so now we want to make a workshop table. Workshop table. Alright, so that's cobblestone, wood, and a blank upgrade, which is just any sort of stone. Yeah, and some wood. Okay. So let's grab two pieces of wood and two pieces of stone. I did make sure to grab some trees off camera as well, just so we wouldn't need wood so much. Uh, I got it that direction somewhere. Nothing too close, but nothing too far either. Alright, so... Oh, does it need just plain... Okay. Oh yeah, that's one of the things I realized, because I was making a lot of these pickaxes and stuff off camera, is you actually need, s not cobblestone, but some sort of smooth stone in order to make it. So, it's a little more annoying, but not anything, like, drastic. Just an extra step in making just plain stone tools, but hopefully we won't have to do that for long. Especially since iron comes in many different forms. That's sort of stuff. Alright, so blank upgrade, and then I said I think it's five stone, and then three wood. That is very loud. In my ear. And then we'll do that. And then a workshop table. And this is from Engineer's Workshop Reborn, which I don't think I've ever messed with before. Alright, so detect that. Ooh, that gives us a gold coin. Why is it giving us ink sacks? I don't... What's an ink sack used for? Book and quill. Seed crafting. Oh! The essence of savagery around it, you get a wither skull. Dia seed. Pickle sh... Pick... Pick... Pixel shoot. Apothecary. There's a, like, a number of stuff to craft, but I, I don't think there's much that's important. But I'll take it regardless. Alright, so now we have this workshop table, which does it work the same? Add a crafting table, chest, or furnace in the upgrade page to get started. Oh. Gimme. Do I have normal axe? I could just use this one. Okay. Oh. You get that. Okay. So, add a crafting table, chest, or furnace in the upgrade page to get started. Upgrade. Crafting table. So, main. Alright, so now, yeah, that gives us the crafting table now. Manage logistics. Fuel. Crafting table. Global upgrades. Does that mean I could put a furnace in here as well? 
upgrade furnace. No. Upgrade furnace. Main. Yeah, so now we have a crafting table and a furnace in here. That's cool. Is that saying that we can also have multiple furni? Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a craft two more furnaces. Because three is a good number, right? No? So I can put them there, but I can't put them, okay. Well, maybe I'll just keep two furnaces for now. I'm not sure what the, well. Hmm. If I put a chest there, would I would would it be able to keep fuel right there? I don't have anything in this chest up sealing it. Slowly figuring things out. There's a lot of mods in this mod pack that I've probably seen, never touched. So oak chest. Ooh, an inventory. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. So that means if I want to, now I could put So upgrade. Okay, so, and that's where the fuel goes. Cool. So now if I want to, I can keep like fuel and stuff in this in this inventory so I can have it there. And then it's just one crafting table up there just for easy, easy stuff. Okay, so I think I want to switch for the crafting table and the... Chest are, simply because I think it'd be easier to craft down here than it would be up here. So that's cool. So I could put all the fuel in there. So where's coal and then things I need to smelt. So hard carbon clump, iron cluster, red iron clump, and a silver cluster in this iron ore. So I go in here and I'll just store that there. Now I don't know if shift clicking it will automatically put it in the furnace, which is not what I want to do right now. But do this because I don't want to use up well I do have a lot of I don't want only iron well this one could be iron so and then start using the fuel I'm not sure how long that'll take oh it just doesn't give me the bar huh. I don't know if that's any faster than normal but that looked cool and I guess it doesn't recharge the fuel until it hits a thousand, because I'm assuming that's what each coal does. So that's actually kind of cool. And that opens up a lot of other stuff, too. So, one way of recycling a foundry. Or I can make a backpack. A new way of storage. Ooh. Easy storage, too. I've only ever heard of the first one. And then a wooden chest. Ooh, I want that. Because that makes my life easier. Wooden chest. Transporter. And that's just a lot of sticks. I have a lot of sticks. Wooden chest transporter. Hey. See, we're getting things done. Another item placeholder that I don't know what to do with ever. But now I have two of them. So this would make it where I could do, like, ha! It makes me slow, though. Mining fatigue, hunger, slow. Uh. Yeah. That's... Oh, and it breaks after I use it? That sucks. Hmm. Hopefully there's dollies or stuff. Well, it's not hard to make anyway. Actually, let's look at the recycling, because it's foundry. Foundry. I like to recycle. Foundry is from Gaia Como's Foundry, which is a ton of smooth stone, so let's get half three, but I want to use that for stuff later, so let's throw that in here. Oh, does this make... Alright, and this would make it where it's not so much of a waste of fuel either, because it's not taking up a full cult. This is... I like this. Engineer's Workshop Reborn. Is there more stuff in that mod? At engineer. Alright, so there's a lot of upgrades. So there's blank upgrade, there's auto crafter upgrade, convert a crafting table into an auto crafting table. So that's good for automation. Storage upgrade adds extra storage. Doesn't stack very well. Uh, charger, let idle components charge up for later. Speed. Ooh, I can increase the speed. 
Um, there's a Q auto transfer, filter, transfer, and axe upgrade. Allow your crusher to chop up logs in the planks. Huh. So we could actually fully automate crafting and smelting and stuff with this, apparently. That's kind of cool. I'm going to keep forgetting that this is the crafting table, though. Foundry. And we'll put you here. Let's claim that. Give, that gives two more gold coins. Which I believe we can use in the quest book. Yeah, there's a reward shop. So we can buy chance cubes. There's ways to get coins. We can buy weapon cases. Um potions, different types of hats, a lot of freaking food apparently, and medkits. Ooh. That's cool. That's a lot of food. Hydra chop too? There's hydras. Uh, another type of weapon case. Loot chest, a handgun. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> um, golden apples, steak, and then different types of enchants. That's actually kind of nice. I don't know if you can craft the coins. My assumption would be no. No, you can't craft them. But I know we could either steal them or earn them like the good wizard that we are, but no. Alright, how does a foundry work? What does it do with material? I'm assuming it needs coal. So we'll give it three. And then what can... I have a lot of spruce, so... Can I recycle that? No. Mm, can I recycle a piece of flint? No. Can I recycle my shovel? No. I don't know how the foundry works. Not found... tree. I have no clue. Hmm. I know it recycles stuff, obviously. Gaia. Oh, and that's the only thing that's in there. I don't know. You guys got to tell me how this one works. I'm I'm not sure. Because obviously it's recycling something, but I'm not sure what I'm recycling. Because it's not taking what I've been throwing at it so far. Oh. Alright, it took some leather boots. I'm not sure what else it will take outside of that, but at least it takes... Armor? Hmm. Oh, and that gave me leather. Oh, is it like a... Like a de-crafting sort of thing? Like, it'll... Not all items, I don't think, but maybe it'll take some items and uncraft it? Like, uh, let's take this furnace. I don't need a furnace. And I'm assuming the only reason it's not taking my shovel is because it's been used. Yeah, so there's eight stone right there. Even though I used cobblestone to make that one. So that one's not perfect. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. There's different storage, totem, airships. Alright, so this is getting right into it pretty quick. I know a backpack will be helpful. I am iron fishing rod. Fishing road. They'd say road. I am iron fishing road. But I have such a good fishing rod already. See? I don't need an iron fishing rod. Let's do it anyway. Just do the one more. So it's just two pieces of iron. Two string and a stick. It's pretty much like how a fishing rod would be anyway. I'm more interested in what this basic case has, so. <laughs> so to put you there, another gold coin. What do you have? Ooh, glazing point. Nine mining speed? How much does this have? It has a negative 5% dig speed. Huh. Okay, so I might want to use that. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in hand. Okay, so we have some pretty cool stuff here. We can make backpacks and new way of storage and all that soon, but it's not like we have a ton of stuff to store, but I'm, I'm, I'm liking this foundry, because 
I don't wear this armor. I probably will wear that one, but... It has a personality. How does a pair of iron leggings, leggings have a personality? I'm confused. And, well, residual material. I'm not sure what that is. Is it, like, a chance of that staying, or... I don't know. That's a lot of leather right there without having to actually go out and do things. I want to use our holy fishing rod and see if I can catch anything cool. Because, what, it was luck of the C5, so... I mean, we live on an island, why not... Eh. Camera. Give me something cool. Let the first one not be a fish. I see bubbles! Oh, it's a fish. Nighttime fishing. Give me something cool. No. I want cool things. Come on. I want cool things. The lily pad's not exactly cool. It's helpful, but not cool. I can find those in the wild. The bubbles. Tunnel shark. Okay, you did give me a cool thing. It came in the form of a fish, but... Or a shark in this case. Huh. So you can make that with, I'm assuming... I could put olive oil on it. <laughs> It'd make it tastier and put some olive oil on it. Alright, anything else that you're gonna offer me, Ocean? Do, 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 do. Come on. Anything else? I see... Bubbles. Number... Num normal salmon. Do, do, do. Normal fish. Alright, one more try. Anything but a shark. Or a fish. I want a cool item. Alright, that's a saddle. <laughs> It, it 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 listened. It did listen. I'm. It might have been not. Might have not been the coolest item, but it did make, give me a an item. Did it? Oh, it has mending. I was about to say, did it heal itself? I, mending's in a vanilla thing, isn't it? I never used it before. That's the wrong chest. And then you would go in here. And I guess I'll put the shark in the. That's interesting. I don't know what mod, uh, dungeon tactics. That's actually pretty cool. Alright. Well, we got a little bit accomplished this episode. It was more of an indoor sort of day, even though we're outdoors now. <laughs> um, I think maybe next episode we're gonna go back to the pirate ship that's over there and explore a little bit. Because, you know, there's some adventuring and dungeoning to do. Don't you think? So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope... Yeah. English is hard. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave some suggestions in the comments below of what you would like to see me do, what kind of buildings you would like to see, or what you would want me to explore. Um, I hope you all are enjoying it so far, and I'll see you in the next one.